Welcome to Christmas. Christmas? Almost. Isn't this our Christmas episode? This is our Christmas episode. So Christmas is this Saturday. I miscalculated and thought we had more episodes to this, do before this because I no. had like two, three, four different Christmas tunes to play. Oh, you thought we were going to do a month of Christmas? Well, or you were going to do a month. Of yeah, I was like, you did like a month of spooky season. I was going to do like a month of Christmas. So I did so, or or month of like holiday things. So I did uh-huh. the the um, Hanukkah tune. Yeah, yeah, I should have paid attention because like we did the Hanukkah tune. <laughs> you got to look at a calendar. But then we did the covers episode last week. Yeah, which I should have done like a Christmas cover. Which really, which this, most of the Christmas songs this are Christmas should covers. Be, I, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. At well, least I could have got. I at least could have got like two in there. But that's okay. Yeah, man. Mine is sort of a cover. We'll have to talk about it then. But like, yours is a cover. Does it classify as a cover? Do jazz songs count as covers? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I guess technically, in the broad sense of thing, like they did not write this song. Yeah, yeah. My, but my they arranged it. Th- well, your song. Maybe it's an arrangement. Is an arrangement a cover? Well, yeah. <laughs> what's a cover? It goes back to the question. What's a cover? Yeah. This is kind of like could be a covers episode. Yeah. By the way, my name's Bo. I'm Brandon. And we bring two tunes to you, the viewers, and each other, and they just talk about two of them. Yeah. I don't know why I keep looking at my watch. I don't know either, because you got a new Apple Watch and you're... I'm fancy. Oh, let me show off my Apple Watch. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, I'm just... I, I don't know. I'm expecting shit or something. Huh. <gasps> he swore. Anyways. Tracking your cycle. <laughs> Tracking my cycle. <laughs> <laughs> you should say that on the... <laughs> but I was exploring all the new apps that are... And there was a cycle check. tracker. And he's like, like, oh, what's this? I don't know. And he's like, it's your menstrual cycle. I'm like, oh. Not, yeah, I don't need to. I don't, I don't think can I need disable this. that one. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm still there. I'm That's still on there. cool that they have that, I guess, for people that menstruate. Well, they also that. have uh, e- e- ECG, which oh, is similar yeah. to an ECG. KG, but then yeah. it goes into it's like this does not detect a heart attack. This will not detect <laughs> yeah. a heart attack. We are not just liable letting if you, you have know. A heart attack. Yeah. If you're having a heart attack, this will not tell you if you are. <laughs> so and blood oxygen level, mm. and it and it says to stand mm-hmm. and when to you know do stuff. Yeah, it's it's a it's a person. If it tells you to stand during the middle of recording, are you going to stand? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I mean, I probably won't have to because it's like every hour. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah anyways uh cool. this is kind of a covers episode but not really because mine's not a cover yours is yeah and what is a cover doing someone else's song i guess okay what if it's no there's no authorship to it well there's authorship to it but, this one yes but, yeah but like like is is there authorship but there's to no like the first noel are we talking about my tune yeah well so, so not, We're author- not going, authorship's you, maybe not the right word but like we are talking about your tune but your tune isn't first okay so that's if what you I want to skip over this. No, that's fine. Uh, authorship, I think, is not the right word, though. I think it's more just like, is there a, an original version of this, original recording of this, original performance or something like that? Uh-huh. It'd be the same way like you could say with like a Beethoven symphony. Are those covers of that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all, all, all orchestras are just cover bands. Yeah. Playing other people's works. So, I don't know. We we don't have to talk too much in depth yet. We can get to it since mine's not first. Yeah. All right. So, my song is by a band, not a person, Charlie Bliss. Mm-hmm. Um, but also. But also a band <laughs> called Pup. A pathetic use of potential. Oh. I've heard of Pup, but I've not listened to I've heard to them, of I Pup think. and I have heard of, of Charlie Bliss as not well. Charlie Bliss. But in different things. So, I was just searching these uh i was searching cover song well not cover song christmas, christmas songs. songs and i was like oh i want this i want this i i i i, I scrolled through willie nelson thinking like yeah let's like you know uh-huh. a christmas song by an artist right yeah. so like let me get the take or like this classic song mm-hmm. but through this lens and then it went to another place and then another place and another place and mm-hmm. then i heard this i'm like this is really cool and it's not one of your classic Christmas songs, yeah, or even like your uh, B level mm-hmm. Christmas songs, where it's yeah. like, like I would say that yours is a deep cut. Oh, for as sure. As far as Christmas songs go, versus mine is like, well, it's it's not a classic at all. Mm-hmm. So this is <clears throat> not either of their song. No, no, no. I think this is. I believe that this is uh, a Charlie Bliss song. Oh, they okay. wrote it. Okay. As far so as I know. So it's in like an original Christmas yes, song. Yes, it is an original okay. Christmas song. 
which most people in like Christmas songs, like oh, well, there was a song that I was thinking of that I, I keep seeing is like, is that a Christmas song? Like, go tell it on the mountain. That Jesus Christ is born? I mean, yeah, because it's talking about <laughs> Jesus being born, and that's, like, what that is. But, yeah. like, it's not a that, – that's also, it's like – It's sort a, of like a post-Christmas song. Yeah, yeah, Or, like, maybe the day of Christmas song. Post-Christmas. Yeah. Hardcore. Um, Do you know what's not a Christmas song? Jingle Bells. Yeah. Well, is it – yeah, anyways. It's not. I think it was technically written for Thanksgiving. It's just, like, northern – It's a wintertime sm- song. Yes. You're out in the snow and – Winter Wonderland, uh-huh. not, not a Christmas song. Let It Snow, not a Christmas song. But we have just used the label Christmas songs. To be anything. What we really mean is, is like wintertime tunes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where this could also be that. Like this isn't necessarily talking about Christmas. It's just like talking about. Isn't Christmas in the title? It is. <laughs> but it's talking about the time of year. Right. And how this is like, I just miss you. Yeah. So, band charlie bliss featuring pup i don't really know exactly the situation of like well who played what Mm -hmm. because it's two bands kind of like meshing together and it might just be one of the members of pup Mm -hmm. and are you not super familiar with either one of them not really but apparently i'm like searching as (laughs) as we're doing this well that's what i was wondering so like if you were familiar with either of them you could be like oh that's definitely the singer of this band or that's yeah well i I know that that pop has a a female singer okay and then oh no sorry charlie bliss has a female singer okay um and then pop has a male singer i believe yeah stefan cool babcock Anyways, <clears throat> let's get into it. Uh, it's Christmas, and I fucking miss you. I miss you too, Bill. Check the house, the snowflakes fall, but I'm not feeling glad at all. It's so this would be the Charlie Bliss singer? Yes. I like that extension mm-hmm. of the lyrics, right? Mm-hmm. Like you'd think it ends in one place and yeah, because it starts with the hook, but oh, then yeah, yeah. that's not the same, exactly the same. Hook yes, once it finally gets there. Also starting with the hook, but not really the hook. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it also it's it's quick that it starts with that. Usually there's like a little more extension of that opening thing if you mm-hmm. start with the hook, but they just like kind of sing it and then boom right into the tune. Which yeah, is interesting. I think while we're discussing and thinking about this i think i know how this song may have been uh created okay and and we'll talk about it when we get there okay (laughs) so this i think is pop yeah so i think what they did is like Charlie Bliss wrote one part of the song, uh-huh. like a section of the song, and then Pup wrote a different part of the song, and this is Pup's part, part of the song. Yeah. That's that's my assumption. Yeah, no, it totally makes right? sense. Right, because like the lyrics are different, the feel is different. It's more like punk. Yeah, I guess. I mean, versus... it's the same song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like we're gonna do it in a punk rock style. Exactly. And we're gonna mash them up and exactly. Yeah. Obligatory sleigh bells. Yeah, let you know that it's a Christmas 100%. song. <laughs> and and and, and uh, uh, tubular bells. Oh yeah, are in here at some oh, cool. point. And then back to yeah. And and that lead singer. The, there, and there's there more pops stuff. in the background singing above. Yeah. Uh, 
This is cool. I don't particularly like... Not like, but like, I don't love either of their voices and different things, but like, I like this song. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess what I should I should revise my statement. I'm not intrigued to go listen to more of either one of them. Okay, necessarily. I hear, but that. I like this and appreciate this. Yeah, this is a cool. Um, like I the, like the if this. I'm assuming that was the idea that you came up with of like, oh, we're gonna collaborate on this and like you do your thing and we'll do our thing and we'll kind of mash it together. And yeah, like I like that a lot. <clears throat> the The writing credits are Eva Hendrix Probably and the Sam from Yes, e- e- Eva is the. She, she's the singer for uh, Charlie Bliss, and Sam Hendricks, her brother, is the guitar player from um, Charlie B- Bliss. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to just say Stefan. Stefan Babcock is the lead singer of Pop. Okay. So it could just be like Charlie Bliss and Stephen Bab- Babcock. Right. But maybe Stephen or S- Stefan, however you want to yeah. pronounce his name. Um. Maybe he didn't want to go by his name. He's uh-huh. like, "Well, I'm in this band, so right. so just." Oh, well, put maybe it that was name. them that played their parts of it too. <clears throat> it could be like that would make sense. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It, in a way, it's like the um, slightly different, but um, Corey Wong and Dirty Loops just did yeah. that collaboration album, mm-hmm. and so it's kind of like they are separate groups coming together for this thing, and they literally record it separately because of COVID and everything else. And like Corey Wong's people were in Minnesota and. The Dirty Loops guys were in Sweden, so like you kind of, so they could have done that. Is that where Dirty Loops is from? Is yeah, Sweden? they're Swedish. Yeah, so like they could have done that. Are you looking it up? <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm looking up other stuff, but <clears throat> but so I'm but I mean they could have even recorded it totally separately and just put it together. Is what I'm saying. Like they didn't. Want yeah, to... I have um, I've been watching uh, professional musicians react. Oh, okay. Which is it's like a specific channel or just like a theme of things? It's it's a it's a it's a YouTube channel mm-hmm. and it's the guy who the the two people who are in um Dirty Loop is it Dirty Loops? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm confusing. The guy who runs uh Patreon. Oh, uh he's from Scary Pockets. That's what I'm thinking of, so I'm wrong. Pomplamoose. I'm completely wrong. Yeah, I can't remember what his name is. Never mind. Everything I was about to say is wrong. <laughs> Um, but anyways, that's a really good channel too, <laughs> where they just like, they get some professional musicians together and then they react to other really good musicians and uh-huh. like, we're bass players. So we're going to focus on this and we're keyboard players. Yeah. So that's off topic. <clears throat> Fair enough. Anyways. But yeah, that's cool. I, like I said, I'm not, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say like or dislike, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not intrigued to go listen to more of either of them, but I really dig this. A lot of, um, and I think it might be just pop. Mm-hmm. that does this but i have well no i have i have a pup song here that i like just discovered like in the past month uh-huh. um called waiting slash kill something okay <laughs> um and it's a it's like a tech uh like a unicorn so think of the colors of the uni- of a unicorn mm-hmm. but it's a tank Okay, so like pinks and blues and yellows. Yeah, and, and then it's also like a clown head. Okay. It's, can you show me? Uh, <laughs> hopefully nothing to scare Everyone else can look it up. You, it's right here. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it's hard to see. But like the song is cool. Yeah. Like I, I like that song because like, if, if I listen to his thing and I'm like, ooh, I like that. Save. Yeah. Um, and then I'll go back to it and listen. Mine and actually, is the, uh, somebody recommends it. I save and then I go back and go, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then I listen to it. There's a, um, Ooh, what's that? Crackliness. I don't know. There That's is weird. some crackliness. Maybe it's the computer. Cause I just Probably. moved it. Let's see if we're Uh-oh. causing Sorry problems there's here. There's lots of issues. Uh, we'll find out. Maybe we'll bit. pause and come back. We're definitely going to pause and come back. Okay. But, um, what I want to say is I had another song that I discovered through the s- Speakers of giant 
grocery store. Nice. I heard like the hook and I'm like, what's that? That sounds kind of cool. Yeah. And I'm like searching it and then I'm like listening to it in the store. I was like, is this it? Hey, this is it. That's Ad. awesome. Oh, right. it's, so- it's me. I think it's just me because I hear it in my microphone. Maybe. We'll, it's the computer, but we'll, okay. we'll fix it. All right. So we're going to go take a, a, a two millisecond break for you at home, <laughs> but maybe like a 10 minute break for us here at, at this this studio. <laughs> yeah, the studios. This is true. All right. We'll okay, see you in a bit. Bye. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. There was no issue. I mean, there was an issue for us. There was but not, not an issue that people could hear. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you guys. Once again, we're just talking about. So speaking of that, because that's happened a couple times where there's been different things that it's like, where you're like, ah, oh, people probably can't hear that. Oh, people can hear it. Oh, they can totally hear it most of the time. Uh, I did hear <laughs> about, uh, this is maybe a couple months ago. Remember that time when we recorded over the summer and the, they were like the playing music through the speaker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one of yeah. my friends was like. You broke my brain because I couldn't listen to you guys and the song you were playing and whatever 80s rock hits were playing on the radio at the yeah, same yeah. time. Uh, like, that's yes. the second time that we've mentioned that on the pod. Sorry about that. Just well, you know. it happens. I don't Just remember things. You got you to gotta listen to the pod. I mean, if you're I, not I do. I, I go back wears. months and months ago. <laughs> I'm only a month behind, yeah. but still, it doesn't matter. Cool. Anyways, we're going uh, There was something I was going to mention you Di- were, diegetic diegetic uh you were saying that you heard some song a giant yeah yeah a giant what was it oh crap you don't remember now i, I mean, was it's there it's uh over my head by echo smith oh yeah i like echo smith i saw them on warp tour and then they got real huge with that one song i don't know like that like later that year mm-hmm. um <clears throat> where i i can't remember now it's it's jogging my memory that i was somewhere and heard a song that was like super hip and i was like oh okay but it wasn't like chipotle or somewhere that i expect <laughs> to kind of play cool music like do you know what i mean like like chipotle kind of has like a pretty good soundtrack of stuff that I they mean, play yeah, or like if you're waiting there for 40 minutes or like if i go to pick up order that happened to me the other night did you see my thing no but like they're real bad they're well really so bad. okay so like wednesday thursday night thursday night i guess I went it, was, to, it was a Thursday for me as well. Yeah, I went to the Hershey Chipotle, okay. like the one in downtown, and they, I like go in and I noticed that like before I go in that there's like a bunch of people sitting around. I was like, oh dang, must have been like a bunch of mobile orders. Yeah. But my plan was to not do a mobile order because sometimes yeah. those get backed up because yeah, that's what 100%. everybody does. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to go in line and order. And then I realized that like no one's in line and then there's a sign that says, sorry, mobile orders only. And I was like... All right, so I'm just going to go sit in my car, do a mobile order, and I'll do it for not – well, there weren't, like, that many people. Like, I don't know. It just was the type of thing where I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. And instead of doing it for, like, 10 minutes, I'll do it for 20 minutes. Oh, no, no. That'll you should give have done them, it immediately. That'll do them, like, a chance to get catch up and blah, 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 and all this stuff. It worked out in my head. I was also just really craving it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm not going somewhere else. Yeah. I also checked. There's one in Hummelstown, which is, like, five minutes away from me. Mm-hmm. Not even. They were closed, apparently, according yeah. to the app. So I placed my order for 610. This is at like 550. And then at like 610, I go inside and my order's not on the thing. And now there are even more people waiting inside. And I was like, okay, a little backed up. No big deal. No, no. It's fine. They were. So there were only three people working. That was the real problem that there were only three people working, not that there were a bajillion orders. Mm -hmm. So at like 620, maybe, the guy says, hey, I'm really sorry. Of the seven people that were supposed to be working tonight, besides myself, these are the only two that showed up. So we're working on it. Uh, you know, and everybody's like, hey, it's cool. Like, not your fault, whatever. And uh, he was like, we're just now at the 550 orders. And I was like, and what time was this? 620. And mine was supposed to be at 610. I'm like, okay, no problem. I live like two minutes up the street. I had been shopping and some other stuff. I was like, I'm just going to go home. I'm going to drop off my stuff. I'm going to like do some other stuff. I'm going to come back in like 20 minutes. Yeah. Probably. They're, they're caught up. They're fine. So I go back at like 645. Again, I look at the thing. My order's not there yet. I'm like, no problem. It's probably coming up soon. And they're still pounding away at whatever. This time when I went and I was sitting on the side where I could see like that little printer that like prints off yeah. the mobile orders. And there's just like a string of them oh, yeah. like on the floor and mm-hmm. whatever. So I watched the manager then go over to that and start grabbing them in his hand. And he probably had like 50. Mm-hmm. And then he stopped because there were still more. And he just said to everybody, hey, go to Chipotle.com yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and go to this part of it. And that's how you get your refund. But I'm really sorry. We're going to have to stop doing orders. We just can't. Like, this is just never going to happen. Mm-hmm. And we were all, at least what I saw, everybody was like, well, that sucks. But. 
we get it we'll get our money back like sorry for your you know what's yeah. going on here like this super sucks for you um but there was part of me that was also like can't you shut off the, the, the thing like uh, yes because i feel like even even, even in non-pandemic app, like, times we're not allowed to do this yeah or or um yeah because i've done that too different apps or different websites where they're like not accepting mobile orders at this time or whatever like i feel like they should have been able to do that but i just i felt super bad for them yeah he probably just didn't have time to do it and there was just like yeah just too many yeah so but <laughs> i didn't get much bullet the other night <laughs> I might go right now after this. Maybe. Nice. Probably can't. I did get like <clears throat> authentic Mexican food the next night. Though, so <laughs> that more than made up for it. From El Rodeo. Um, oh, but anyway, uh, all that that whole tangent was from, <laughs> I heard a cool song somewhere and I don't remember where I was, but I was like, oh, okay. But speaking of places where I heard cool songs, since the last time we recorded, I saw Straight No Chaser. Okay. Uh, I took my mom for Christmas because they always come to Hershey every year and it's like the first time they've been back in two years. And first of all, really good. They were they were re- really good. Very entertaining. Their arrangements were good. I think my my thing with like acapella tunes in general is I don't need to hear the whole song acapella. That's my broad take on acapella tunes. Uh-huh. I don't need to hear three and a half minutes of your version of whatever. Not because it's bad, just because... I sort of get the gimmick of doing it in acapella style after mm-hmm. the first chorus. Chorus, basically. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I don't need to hear the whole thing. That's my thing. I want to hear more mashups. That's what I want to hear. Even if it's two songs, that's what I want to hear. Because I found myself most intrigued by the stuff that... Because, first of all, I like mashups in any genre. I like that people find, oh... This fits with that. That's the, you know this works over that. I find a lot of TikToks like that where the DJs and different stuff that like sample things together and mash stuff up. Mm-hmm. I'm really interested by that. So that's DJ, part of it. DJ Cumberbun. I do like that. <laughs> His get like a little old after a while because it's like a lot of similar styles of things. But, but he he change like he changes it. Yeah. Like yeah. drastically. But but that's one of the things that I like. So like I'm intrigued by that, and that's kind of I feel like that's that sort of started. Well, it started in like DJ culture and stuff. But I think like the acapella scene Mm -hmm. from like the nineties on and whatever kind of helped do that a little bit too, Mm -hmm. because it's like, Oh, this works over that. And this works and we can transition to this and whatever. So that was part of my thing. It's like, I don't need to hear a full version of most things acapella. Mm -hmm. I want to hear mashups and stuff. But the other thing is I really liked a lot of their song selection. And in particular, they did a Wolfpack tune, which I was like, okay, straight, no chaser. You guys are, you guys are a little more hip than I thought you might be. This was it was like the third tune they did too. It was that and um, that song "Lovely Day." A lovely day. Da, 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 oh, don't. Da, da. It's like a it's like an old '70s song or something, I think. Okay. Um, but it was "Back Pocket" by by um, Wolfpack mashed up with that song "Lovely Day." Cool. Because they did. I forget what they can. It's basically their first half is pop tunes. Yeah. And then the second half is Christmas tunes. At least. That the, show. this time of year yeah um if you go see them in january i assume february or whatever i assume it'll be just all pop songs and stuff but yeah um but anyway yeah it was like the third tune they were like introducing stuff and they're like it's a lovely day to be here and i was like oh they're gonna do the song lovely day and they start out with the intro and whatever i'm like yeah that's cool and then like the guy starts singing the melody and i was like that's not this tune <laughs> i know that what is this tune i know holy shit it's wolfpack <laughs> and i was like okay you guys got a little more cred for me, but yeah, that's cool. my whole thing. Anyway, we're we're, we're not going to talk about your Christmas <laughs> song. <laughs> uh, so as I said before, I thought we had more time to do more Christmas tunes. So I had like a whole bunch that I was trying to choose from. Mm-hmm. I have also decided this year I'm going all in on Christmas songs. Okay. I don't know why. Usually I don't like dislike them, but it's that whole thing. You've probably seen the meme that's like, here's my hot take. Christmas songs suck because it's just the same ones every year. Yeah, like, I mean technically no, but like people write new yeah. ones, but it's hard to get them into the in into the the the, the pantheon right. of Christmas songs. Yeah, yeah, but, and and like it just part of, it, it is part of the thing of like that. There's a whole genre around a, a specific holiday, but also as we mentioned, like they're not all Christmas songs, quote yeah, unquote. Yeah. But a whole there's basically a whole month devoted to a genre of songs, or a genre of songs devoted to a whole month. You know yeah. what I mean? Even though that genre spans all genres of music. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. But 
there is this right here. This is not your typical. No, this is an Advent song, <laughs> which is obviously related to Christmas, like the mm-hmm. lead up to Christmas. But it's a hymn mm-hmm. originally. Um, but anyway, I I personally decided I'm just going to go all in on Christmas stuff. I'm just going to be more open minded about it. I'm going to listen to it more, try to find new ones and different stuff. So like for instance, Darren Chris, the singer, has a new Christmas album out. I like it. Been listening to it. There's new Christmas albums every year. There are, but like that's the things I never get into them. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like going all in. A friend of mine, uh, Chad, does this thing. I think over the last couple of years, but he's doing it this year too. Where every day there's a new prompt uh, that you're supposed to like. He does it on his Facebook. Okay, where he'll do like today's theme is songs about Santa, and then everybody just comments like a song about Santa. Oh, or like, like today's like he is the one who's giving the prompt. I don't know. Yeah, he they does. Never... I don't know where he gets them from. If he comes up with them himself, or he or he like found a list online or whatever. But it's basically like every day for for a month, or at least leading up mm-hmm. to the, to the Christmas day, he does different prompts and stuff. And I've been trying to find like interesting ones either yeah. ones that i already know or ones i don't yet so like one of the early ones was like this is the song that means it's officially christmas season to you so i picked christmas time in hollis or christmas in hollis by run dmc because yeah, i love yeah. that song and like yeah as soon as i hear that i'm like yeah let's go christmas season here we go and then i found a good one the other day for the santa one i was proud of this i typed in santa sucks on uh on okay. spotify just to see what would come up and I got this insane clown posse song called like Santa's a fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and then, so I posted that one and I've just been, some of them again are like pretty standard and some are a little different and whatever. But anyway, so I've decided to go all in on Christmas. So I was real excited to play like a bunch of Christmas tunes on this podcast and I get one. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going with this one cause it's non-traditional. I like it. It is a band we've talked about wolves at the gate. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about them on the, I forget what we titled it, but basically, like, the episode was about bands that have redone their own songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did a version of one of their songs that they sort of redid and stuff. So this is their take on the old Wesleyan hymn, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Hold on. I'm, I'm you don't have it ready to well, go. That no, I have it ready. I'm just solid like, segue. Now that you've, into you've you talked about that, <laughs> I'm going back and seeing, like, where it was in... um. It was in May. Okay. That we did that. that. we did that episode. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you can go back and find more info on them. Okay. So here you go. I love the drums in this song. Mm-hmm. It's very simple, but yeah. like, actually this whole song is like As he plays simple. a pretty complicated fill. <laughs> but yeah, like it's a fill, but like, yeah. do, 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 da, do, 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 da, yeah. do, do, da, fill. Pause for a second. So, I just love this. It's just so good. I, this is. I originally heard this on Sol, so Solid State Records, which is their record label, who we've talked about before. Mm-hmm. Um, they put out a compilation maybe three years ago. I, I can't remember. It's called like Midnight Clear, mm-hmm. and it's just a bunch of their bands doing Christmas tunes. Mm-hmm. So the most totally makes sense. Famous, yeah. The most famous of those. Uh, not necessarily like the group that's most famous, although maybe, um, but August Burns Red, who's a metal band, mm-hmm. has done several holiday things. In fact, they had a holiday album. They have a holiday EP. They just released a new holiday tune. It's it's I think it's Santa Claus is coming to town. Like it's kind of their shtick of like around this time of year is that they do these like instrumental metal versions of oh instrumental holiday tunes. Yeah, which is which is the the thing. Okay, um, is that it's kind of cool and it's like real you know, like quick guitars and, and craziness and stuff. Um, I highly recommend that album. It's super fun. Now, if you don't love metal, um, you may not get through the whole album in one sitting, but like <laughs> pick out, pick out a Christmas tune you like that they've done and listen to it and be like, Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, but anyway, all of the other tunes on that compilation, a lot of them are, you know, it's heavier bands. That's what solid state. That's their whole thing is like heavy bands and stuff. But the thing that I think sets this one apart from some of the others is that it's not just we're going to do it 
in like a metal style and like we're just going to scream the vocals and we're going to do whatever like there is some of that but i this is much more I hate to use the term but i guess musical to me and like more thought out in the arrangement and stuff i guess instead of just like we're just gonna jam real heavy on this thing does that okay. make sense yeah okay I also like this melody a lot. It's really interesting. Like, it sounds like a hymn, but oh, it yeah. totally fits over this style to me. I I, I, th- I mean, I, I think that they are... They're focusing on the hymn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, all of the, the vocal parts are, like, that's what it is. Even, like... Right? Like, they even include that stuff. But one of the guitars is just like chugging along on do 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 on that part, yeah. But then there's also some uh, lead line going like as like kind of like a middle part, yeah. Where it's like, well, it's not the melody and it's not the bass, yeah. Because that like uh, chuggy chugga, part, chugga, chugga, yeah. is is uh, that would be kind of like the bass, mm-hmm. right? Like mm-hmm. this is the the chords, and here's the next chord, and here's yeah. the next chord. Versus the, the, then it has that that lead line going over top of it which is really really cool um but it doesn't like it's it's not screaming like this this is this is a part you got to pay attention it's like oh it's just there yeah it's just kind of there in the background and they do scream because there's a screamer in the band like yeah yeah. but it's that more melodic screaming i think i mentioned that when i played them before same thing with under oath like it's i appreciate like a melodic screamer yeah, and now this part obviously pretty straightforward, other than the the rock vocalist. Yeah, like this is this is your uh, your, your main Christian rock. Yeah, minus part. the singer's voice. Like if it was cleaner, it, you'd no, no, go. It's, it's oh, not this even is that bad. Chris Tomlin I mean, or somebody. I mean, like, it's not even like that far removed from that. But then yeah. once you get that, yeah. once you get that that yell the screamy vocals that is where it it twists and it's like oh this isn't exactly i mean it doesn't start there but if it did start there you'd be like oh this you know it's like and then they go into if they did it that way yeah then you kind of would like ease your way into this and this version makes me want to listen to more wolves of the gate just to see if it's like is it more like this or is this something is this different yeah in like did they just like kind of have the song and then put some other stuff into it and See, I, not the I, other way around. I get you. I think it's that's the thing of like that whole compilation is I think what you're getting from each of those bands on the Christmas tune or the holiday tune is what you're going to get from them normally. Does that make sense? Is yeah. that what you're kind of asking? You're you're yeah, like yeah. you're like I want to go hear more, more Wolves of the Gate cuz I like this and I want to hear if that's what Wolves of the Gate is like. Is that what yes. you're saying? Okay. Yeah. So then what I would say is yes, it is. This is this yeah. is them on a hymn from 1744 or uh-huh. whatever. <laughs> Some of the vocals sound like uh Dustin Kentru. Okay. Like the screaminess kind of mm-hmm. sounds like him. Even this singing mm-hmm. kind of sounds like him. Okay. The little like desk can in the guitar is cool over that moment. Yeah. I kind of I like just want them to do a whole album of this stuff. Of just hymns. Yeah, hymns and Christmas stuff. Like, yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Cause I don't think this is anywhere else other than on this compilation. Like, yeah. maybe they themselves released it as a single. Maybe. Because I think that's how most of the bands are on that particular one. And you can tell that, like, it's it's not their version. Because, like, the chords. Here's a new chord. Oh, there's 
Poor yeah, there was like a couple like like chord dun, substitutions and stuff. Dun, dun, yeah, dun. it's like we only change like the chords don't don't. It's chord heavy. I'll yeah. say that where like choral or uh, hymns hymns are, are do that. homophonic the, music. The chord changes every beat or every couple beats. Yeah, yeah. which is it's quite a long fade out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I really, really dig that one. There's something about the first time I heard that. I, I'm i trying to think if I was even listening to Wolves at the Gate at that point. I, I, I think I was, like a bit. Like I think it maybe had like one of their first albums. Um, but something just like struck me. That that one sticks with me all the time. I listen to that tune in June because I just like it. <laughs> like I don't, it's not about the message of it. It's just like mm-hmm. musically and everything. I just really, really am into that one a lot. Okay, I'm trying to figure something out right now. Ah. Oh. Also, one other song I almost thought about playing. Let me, I'll just talk, we should just talk about some other Christmas things that we like, just okay. so people can listen. We had somebody in the in the Discord asked, hey, I used to work in retail and all I heard for a month was Christmas songs. Please give me suggestions on other ones because Cause we're, we all know, I hear you, are the same ones all, all, you all got the is, time. Uh, a wonderful Christmas time. Um uh, uh, all I want for Chris, or you know, you, yeah, you, the standard, the, the standards of yeah. of stuff. I can't think of any right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but like, what uh, you recommended uh, somebody's Christmas album? D- I Dust, can't remember. D- Dustin Kensrue. That's uh, right. His stuff. It's like folky. I think it's just most of the time it's just him and a guitar singing. Yeah. So it's like. I, it's that's that's what he does as his solo work, uh-huh. but all of his solo work is also like Christmas themed christian hymns yeah i mean us. he's a pastor or was was yeah by did, the way did you finish the marcel I, I did not i i'm on the well the last episode is like three hours long oh my god <laughs> we had that discussion i mean they had to wrap it all up but yeah yeah well yeah. the last two are really long yeah um so i have that last one to do which they waiting a while it like just came out i was gonna yeah. ask you because i was like did you did you stick around to the end of that oh yeah um it took me several days but yeah yeah um but his stuff, his like that's that's yeah. his solo work is really good, and it's it's folky and it's like really cool. Yeah. Um, I really like uh, Casey Musgraves' mm-hmm. uh, Christmas albums, including the the Christmas special, which okay. you can watch on Amazon Prime, I think. Okay. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I was like, oh, like Silent Night, oh, that'd be really cool, and it's it's her and uh, Fred Armiston. Oh yeah, but it's like a not so silent night because okay. like they sing it and then like there's just stuff going on okay. going wrong like oh the wind is opening the doors and oh. while they're singing it uh-huh. like the first thing is um what's james james corden mm-hmm. uh he he's of course james corden's in it I, of course <laughs> um he he's coming in as like oh i'm you know i gotta i gotta put up this thing it's like oh my my it's like shouldn't you done that before we did this right. it's like oh but it's it's i was my job went over the previous job went over so i gotta do this but it's just like interrupted by by all these things not that that song is funny but like just that uh, her style at that point are mm-hmm. both those christmas um records is uh classical guitar mm-hmm. um uh slide slide guitar pedal mm-hmm. steel yeah like it has all that stuff which i was like that's i love that aesthetic. what did you you were talking about it before we recorded but i think you called it like california country yeah that's just something I'm trying – like, it doesn't sound like yeah. that, but it, it sounds like Hawaiian a yeah. little bit, like, some of the things. Because it has, like, classical guitar, which kind of has that ukulele sound to it. Yeah. It's got slide guitar, which came from Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of sounds surfy a little bit, mm-hmm. um, or at least the the first one. Not the TV special, but, yeah, they're like – I, I like the aesthetic of it. Mm-hmm. Um, one song that I kept going back to for this – was uh war is over and uh, the other beetle um the other <laughs> the beetle, other beetle. <laughs> um billy preston n- yeah billy preston oh my god he's so good pete best pete stop do you know pete best i do okay. he's the original bass player yeah. no a drummer no no he was a bass wasn't he a bass player? i thought pete best was the drummer i don't know we're getting off topic now sure. did but you finish that documentary it, yeah i did not i haven't gone past it, where it, i was we'll go back there hold on a second <laughs> okay sorry. um so welcome to two tangents two tangents po- t- 22 <laughs> ch- tangents podcast um because today's filled with tangents love it so give the people what they want yeah yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, but um, uh, it's a wonderful Christmas time, yeah. which I really think oh, is a yeah. I really think is a horrible song. Do you know you've seen that thing right? That meme that's going around. That's like this no. song is actually about like a cult ritual or a pagan ritual or whatever, <laughs> no. and it's like that shows like the lyrics or whatever, and it's like the moon is right, and this is that, and da da da. Maybe, and then it's like somebody walks into the recording studio, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. <laughs> like that's a Christmas song. Sorry, no, it's definitely not about pagan rituals at winter time. <laughs> 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 maybe that this has been sense. brandon explaining memes and then laughing um, overly hard at them <laughs> but um i didn't think about it until just like two seconds ago today is the solstice Twelve twenty-one. Oh, we're i was like it's the 12th but we record early <laughs> <laughs> no the day that this is going to be released is the solstice is cool. like the reason that the reason for that, the season the reason for the season <laughs> um the sun kept getting lower and lower and lower in the sky and lower uh-huh. and lower in the sky and then and then they're like wait a second it's not going down any further. Oh, it's going back up. Yes. Another year. <laughs> We're going to be alive. We're going to stay alive. And that's the, the reason for the season. Nice. Well, at least one of them. Mm-hmm. Right. If you ask Harold, Harold Chapley, he'll disagree with you. That's for the local people that know. watch local TV. Okay. We'll talk about it off air. Okay. <laughs> um, or it's a reason. Oh, no, no. The The one, I don't know if I sent it to you, but like, it's a it's a picture of uh of Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, like remember don't the reason. reason for this. <laughs> don't yeah. Re- yeah, that's like that old thing of like I replaced all the pictures of Jesus in my grandma's house with Obi Wan uh, Kenobi. Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Since she still hasn't noticed. Oh, I should do that. I don't really have anybody <laughs> close to me that that has a bunch of pictures of Jesus. Yeah. Anyways. Cool. Well, thanks for listening. Happy Christmas, if you. Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. I Those like British saying family. Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas. Yeah. only because like it's odd. I mean, it's it's super. Yeah, uh, it's super common. Happy and, Honda and, days. Honda days. Merry Christmas. Honda. Honda. Yeah. Happy, Happy Honda, Honda days. days. Yeah. Don't you have or Toyota Thon if you if you celebrate that? <laughs> What's the Lexus one? <clears throat> Lexus. Uh, uh, what is their ad? I don't know. Slogan thing. Two million tangents. I don't what know. was the other thing? We we we. we we had talked about it and then I'm like, Oh, I'll get back to that. Oh, the Beatles documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, somebody was like, you know what? Like <clears throat> the people who are going to watch this are like musicians yeah, or really big Beatles fans uh-huh. and no one else is going to watch those it. things. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like, yeah. Like when I tell people to watch it, I'm like, it's extremely boring, but it's great. It's fascinating. It's so fascinating. Yeah. But it, it is like, if you don't like the Beatles, and you're not a musician, uh-huh. you're probably not going to like it. Uh-huh. But if you're a musician, you'd be like, yep, awesome. Yeah. That it's, Yeah, show it how it is. Well, I think the reason I haven't gotten back to it yet is mostly wait, because... Wait, wait. Is what? the reason you haven't... The reason for the season? No, 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 that you <laughs> haven't got back, but like... Oh, because you haven't got, stop it. Get, you That's didn't not get back where I was it. going. The reason you didn't get back to it is because... Because <sighs> I hate you. That's why. That's the reason for most things. Get no, back! Um, the reason why I have not uh, revisited... <laughs> that yet is because i I watched the first part in segments i think i said oh yeah you have to you really have to well but what i don't want to do is watch it in segments again i want to sit down and watch yeah you don't have that time two and a half hours so i'm gonna wait till break probably when i'll have like yeah a little bit more time but i can sit down and watch two and a half hours of a segment or of like part two or whatever yeah which is the part two yeah you're gonna watch part two yeah and then i'll watch part three eventually but they should have done it like yearly <laughs> like or the even lord, just lord of the rings trilogy even just in like do oh, it yeah. in nine parts it, you really should have just been like a tv show that was over x amount of time like that was over 22 days because yeah. that's how long this thing took uh-huh. and you you do like a 30 minute episode yeah and in the next week, you have another 30 minutes. Well, so if you did 30 day. minute episodes, that's nine or 10 parts right there. Mm-hmm. So that, I don't know. I, I, well, no, no, what I mean is 22 days. Like, yeah, it's no, 22 I got you. episodes. I got you. Yeah. It's an Take advent calendar of Beatles. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at the end, you get a rooftop concert. And, and then they're simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Yeah, but only because somebody walked in the recording studio at that time. Yeah. According to the meme. But it's fun. It totally makes sense. I need to listen to that song only because I think that like there's like two parts to it, and then it just repeats over it. It's it's kind of like uh, what's what's the song that like half the song is just the outro. I don't know by them by the Beatles. Yeah, there's a song where like the main part of the song 
is the first half of the song and then oh. there's an outro that's the other half of the song i don't know i feel like by their later period probably a lot of songs by them i don't know maybe you'll figure it out for next week is it maybe it's let it be hey jude it's hey jude isn't is it, it? hey yeah because yeah, yeah. he just like vamps over that yeah Judy, 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 Judy. <laughs> yeah good night kyoto good night julian that's how the that's how uh war is over starts cool is yoko saying good night to kyoto kyoto japan i assume i i assume that but did then, you know that john and yoko were neighbors with john cage and merce cunningham no merce cunningham was john cage's partner who's the famous uh choreographer Okay, but they were neighbors, <laughs> like in the in the building. Yeah, like whatever building they lived in. New yeah, York. yeah, yeah. Or at one point, I don't know yeah. how long. But I mean, there's, that makes sense. There's a um, everybody lived there. Everybody there's a John lived. Cage biography. I think it's called Silence that I read. It's really really good. It's he- it's 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 dense. Yeah, I was gonna say heavy, but it's not. It's it's dense. It's like a very well done, like documented his whole life mm-hmm. in very strict detail whatever kind of thing so like if you're into that it's it's cool but it's a lot but there's this point where he's like yeah, I have these like weird musician neighbors and whatever and blah 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 and it's like this british guy and his japanese wife or whatever and they're strange and it turns out it's john and yoko <laughs> does he actually mention Cage. them or like that's how you figure it out well no i think i think the because it's it's not an autobiography it's a biography that's done by him but like they're kind of mentioning like sort of I think sort of I, I'm paraphrasing because I haven't read it in a long time, but that's basically how they set it up. Is like he kind of had these like weird neighbors or whatever, and then it turns out that that's who it was. And it's like I that's mean, so yeah, they, they were weird. Imagine if though, like, um, as I use the word "imagine" as I'm talking about John Lennon, um, so many puns. Think, if you will, uh, ponder this, if you, if you would, um, <laughs> if you Norwegian would, uh, that <laughs> that. You know, obviously, we there's been talk of, like, what if John Lennon did live? You know, think of all the music he would have created and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah. imagine, like, a collab of, like, John Cage and John Lennon. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Would be cool. It would be cool. Anyway. Anyways, uh, you can join us in the Discord, as we yes. kind of talked about before. You can follow us on Instagram at Two Tunes, Two Tunes Podcast, Podcast. Uh, on Facebook in that group. Mm-hmm. You can search for us there. Uh, email us at two tunes podcast at gmail.com and if you wouldn't mind giving this uh, a like or telling a friend about it sharing on stuff is super easy too like just share it on your story tag us whatever would be great um that's always appreciated any kind of interaction and like engagement helps a lot because then it just means that more people see it and then maybe more people listen yeah we we've kind of gotten a little bit of boost in the last couple weeks yeah our Spotify so. wrapped said we had 16 countries that people listen in. So thank you for that. That's true. Maybe some of you just have like your VPN set to like <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh Can you God. find out like the actual demographics of that? Like what are those 16 countries or is it just, yeah, it yeah. just tells you? I mean, I'm really curious. I, I, I can. Yeah. We'll look it up we'll, for next week. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks for listening, folks. All right. Bye, guys. And goodbye.